This is a revise of the uh, walk cycle forward that I did for a walker a little while ago. Um, I'm going to try and use my or the technique that Selgin and Funks my name used um, earlier, but I'm going to try it for a forward walking character. So I've removed all of bone, bones constraints and I'm going to use uh, the scale bone tool on frame one. I'm going to shrink her leg um, using my reference boxes right there. I'm going to rotate her leg in just a little bit also. Um, rotate her torso to the right just a tiny bit. I'm going to put her arms down a little bit too. Okay, go to frame 13. Do the opposite. Rotate her leg back out. Scale her leg back to its original position. Scale the uh, right leg using the references here on the boxes. Rotate her leg in a little bit. And rotate her to the left slightly. Now I'm going to copy paste the first frame to the 25th. So we have a little switch movement going on. Now I'm going to go to frame 7. Click the bone translate tool. Click her hip. Actually, make sure I got a start keyframe. Go to frame 7. Lift her up just a little bit, so she's on top of this reference line. Select the two uh, keyframes that I just made. Copy, paste to 13, paste to 25, delete this unwanted one. So now we've got a little bounce in her step. Then also on frame 7, I'm going to use the scale bone since I think leg goes forward first. Yeah, the left leg goes forward first, so on frame 7 I'm going to use scale and just shrink just um, or scale that bone. Go to frame 19 and do the same for this one and see if it looks like she's stepping more. That looks better. Select all of the uh, last frames on frame 25, cycle. Yeah, that looks way better than the original um, walk cycle I did forward. So let's turn off the reference layers and see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks much better. So. If you're trying to make a walk cycle for one of the uh, forward-facing characters of Anime Studio, you can try using this.